In this segment of our series of using somatic cell count values to manage subclinical mastitis, we want to talk about determining if our current control programs are effective. And to do that, we need to be able to estimate the new infection rate. Now, to estimate the new infection rate, instead of having just one month worth of data, we need to have individual somatic cell count tests for two consecutive months for each cow. In order to estimate the new infection rate, it's a little bit different than what we talked about in our last series. In this instance, we need on the numerator of our formula, we put the number of cows that have a somatic cell count value of greater than 200,000 cells for the first time in our time period, for example, the first time in this month or this lactation, and we divide it by the number of cows that have a somatic cell count less than 200,000 in the previous time period. Let me repeat that. The denominator is the number of cows that were healthy last month. So let's think about this. Let's say we have 100 cows that were tested last month and this month. And of those 100 cows, last month, 20 of them were already high. Those cows aren't eligible to be included in either the numerator or the denominator of this formula. Only the healthy cows can be included. So what we do is on the denominator, we'd have 80 cows that were healthy last month. And the new infection rate would simply be of those 80 cows that were below 200,000 last month, how many of them are over 200,000 this month? For example, if there were eight of them, it would be eight out of 80, which is simply a 10% new infection rate. Now, what's a realistic goal for, for the new infection rate? Well, a realistic goal based on looking at data throughout the upper Midwest would be about less than about six to seven percent of those cows that are tested in those two consecutive months. In our region, about 20 percent of the herds will achieve this. And in our re region, the average new infection rate each month, regardless of herd size, is about six, six and a half percent. I want to tell you the range on new infection rate isn't very broad. It ranges from about say 5% to about 15%. And if your new infection rate hits 15%, you're going to know you have a problem because your bulk tank somatic cell count will be going up and you'll know that you're in an outer health crisis. Now looking at, again, um, some of the different software packages and how they estimate the new infection rate, you can see we've got a chart that has both red and yellow bars. On the vertical axis, again, we've got the percentage of infected cows. And let's focus in on that first bar on the left, the, the one that says May 14. Overall, you'll see about 20% of the herd has somatic cell counts over 200,000. That means the prevalence is 20%. But if you look at that 20%, 15% of them have been high for more than one month and only 5% of them are colored yellow. That 5% is our new infection rate. So what's the consequences of exceeding our goal for new infection rate? Well, this is the most important indicator of how well we're doing with our current control programs. If the new infection rate goes up, our mastitis control program is failing and too many cows are developing new infections each month. Likewise, if you make a positive management change on your farm that reduces exposure and reduces new infections, what you'll see first before you see any other changes is that new infection rate fall. So next up, we're going to move on to talking about comparing the bulk tank somatic cell count to monthly somatic cell count values.